Hello, everyone. My name is Wang Yanci from Electronic Science and Technology Museum from China. Today, I would like to share our project of public engagement during the pandemic. We call it peer-to-peer -peer opening. Before I introduce what this project is and how it works, I would like to share why we discuss this topic. The University Museum plays dual roles as an institution in the university and a part of the global museum community. It brings the dual responsibilities of the university and the public, which have always been an issue worth discussing. The mission of the University Museum in the 21st century has shifted from the preservation and research of collections to the attention and education of the audience compared with the mid 20th century. In China, as the mission of the University Museum changes and the need for the University Museum of Science Communication and popularization increases. University museums are looking for more solutions for wider opening to the public. The university museum is looking for a balance between the public and the university all the time. We have to admit that the challenge has become more prominent because of the pandemic. Actually, in China, the open management of universities is strict due to the pandemic. Therefore, the public couldn't get into university museums easily, meaning public engagement becomes a common challenge in China. In this case, electronic science and technology museums succeed in reconnecting with the public in two ways. Peer-to-peer -peer opening to the primary public is the first step. Then, with more resources, opening as a link between various groups is important. We must take the challenge of opening to the public as a chance for development. So how did the peer-to-peer -peer opening project work? Firstly, going to primary and secondary schools the museum offers science courses, six science courses, including Morse code, the Hertz experiment, and other inventions of or phenomena. And the theme are the main form. Based on that, we popularize basic science uh, principles and decipher the development of modern technology to cultivate uh, uh, teenagers' interest with interactive apparatus developed by ESTM. Secondly, going to communities. The museum offers micro-mobile exhibitions, a complete uh, exhibition system of uh, collections, descriptions, science videos, and interactive devices is offered. Together, we discuss the evolution of technology reflected by consumer products that make community involvement better. Moreover, for the wider public, the museum holds a science docent competition. Hybrid competition have two advantages. Not only does deeper participation bring contestants to a clearer scientific thought, but also science disseminates to a wider range of the public. In this case, the challenge of opening can be converted into a chance for development. In the peer-to-peer -peer opening process, resources are the bridge to getting public access. ESTM has increased the number of publications, videos, interactive devices, and so on. Based on the resources, ESTM gradually gets public engagement in return. And this is the reference uh, in this research. Thank you.